Female business executives can help themselves by helping others. That's part of the mission statement of the XX Project, which holds events hosting female executives for intimate conversations. Joining us now is the XX Project founder, Michelle Edgar, and one of the panelists in an upcoming event, Lisa Murray, Chief Marketing Officer at Octagon. Ladies, welcome, both of you. Thank Michelle, you. Michelle, let me start with you. How did this project come about? Yeah. Well, I wanted to build a community and um, an environment where women can really share their stories stories and hear from leading women how they got to where they are and have it all. You right. Know, how do you balance that professional and personal sort of uh, career? And Absolutely. that was something that was really personal to me as a young executive. And I figured if I could bring some of these leaders in a room, why not have you know a salon intimate sort of conversation, an evening where you can network and really collaborate and create community with women? It sounds very beneficial. And Lisa, as a top female executive yourself, what are the benefits of just women networking among each other? Well, you know, I think there's a lot of commonalities that women can share, and sometimes within the work environment, you may not feel comfortable talking about it. So I think it's great. There is a difference between men and women, and if you have a forum that you can talk amongst yourselves and and be open, mm -hmm. all the all the better. Right. It's a win-win. And so, how open do these panels get? I mean, do people really break down talking about their kids and their careers, or does it stay much more focused just on the career? Really, everything. Uh, right. No holds barred. <laughs> right. I love it. I love right. it. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> you know, we want to really have it be an open forum, mm -hmm. and you know, to learn those secrets about that balance, and you know, choosing your, the right partner, and mm -hmm. really making it an honest and raw discussion. I think that's what you know is really interesting. Interesting and exciting for you know some of these young leaders because we want to empower you know women and to you know have a place where they can confide and really go to to learn these you know tricks and secrets. Absolutely, and Lisa, as we know, there's a whole new slew of female graduates out in the world. Yes. What piece of advice would you give these young ladies that you perhaps wish that you'd known when you mm -hmm. started out in your career? There are so many different things that females can do, ma male or females can do, and when I talk to graduates, a lot of times they say, well, I did apply to 10 places, or I'm interested in two different careers. You have to open up that door. You have to apply everywhere and anywhere and say yes. Take any interview you can, because you just never know. So when people just put themselves in a box, I really push them to just try anything, because you don't know where your career is going to be. Uh, I was a home economics major, and Lord knows I am not in that field, and you just never know. That's very, very good advice. And Michelle, what have you learned from doing all of this? I've learned the importance of women leadership and mm -hmm. really empower, empowering one another, and that's we're hoping that women can, you know, not only attend these events but really feel a role and responsibility to also collaborate and help one another. And, you know, I'm very blessed. A lot of these women are, you know, mentors to me and yeah. inspirations. And I just found myself organically, you know, really studying and, you know, getting to know them and understanding their story and sharing that story. So I think it's important for us to take a role. Um, I actually work uh, for Lisa. Uh, at Octagon, so very honored to have, you know, my chief mentor at my uh, job as well. Oh, <laughs> Join exciting. Us. So, <laughs> yeah. You know, I think it's important to really help one another, and you know, I also work in the music business, a very male-dominated industry, and I've been in publishing and media before that, and I think it's important to come together, and you know, what better timing than now? Absolutely. And what is next for the XX project after tonight's event? Uh, we're going to have another event in L.A. We are bi-coastal in both New York and L.A., and I'm hoping to build out a conference, an annual conference for the XX Project. Wonderful. We wish you all the luck. Lisa, Michelle, Thank thanks so much for, much for having us. Thanks. coming in.